everybody. Welcome. It is Thursday, February 2nd, and that means it's Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day, and it's Brandon Uranowitz Day. Brandon Uranowitz Day. Well, Brandon Uranowitz is here, so yeah, we, we are very that. lucky and happy. Yeah, of course. I mean, he just he brings joy with him. Uh, he does. But, but it is Groundhog Day. We'll get to him, but it is Groundhog we'll Day. We'll get to you. Um, and I woke up early and went to a Groundhog Day press event, the new 42nd Street. High concept. Uh, Ray- Raymond uh, Kaylee was dressed as a groundhog. You're revealing his identity? Full drag, full, full costume, the whole thing. Um, they sang drag. four songs from Andy the show. Andy Carl was there, the star of Groundhog Day. Well, of course Day, he was. Doing his thing. I'm just saying. Barrett Doss, who I did, did not know before today, is the female lead. Uh, she was fabulous. She uh, sang her face off, I believe. The kids like to say that phrase. Um, sure. Brandon's nodding because he knows what the kids say. He knows say. what the kids do. He's our link. Know. He's our link to me. the younger. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Um, this show is going to be phenomenal. So get excited, everybody. We have a video going up shortly, my interviews with everybody. Yep. Um, and be sure to watch it to watch the, my intro in that video because it's special. <laughs> I'm excited. It's special. Um, so last night, my Facebook started blowing up because whenever Hillary Clinton, people love to hear about Hillary Clinton because of the state of the world, and when she shows up places, my Facebook feed blows well, up. Well, you know, what we love about Hillary is that Hillary loves Broadway. Hillary loves Broadway. And Bill. Yes. And so they were at In Transit last night, and um, there's video, the whole crowd started chanting, Hillary, Hillary. Hillary. Thank and you for then, recreating that for us. And there were photos, fo- <laughs> I still was video of it, and then there were photos of them backstage. Um, With James Snyder. James and, Snyder and, and others. Uh, yeah, so that's exciting. We like yeah, having what them. Yeah, what will she see next? What will Hillary and Bill see next? That's the question. Not we should, oh, we should, what? <laughs> Brandon said not falsetto. 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 No, that's close. They're Thank you. Go they will not be going to any closed shows that I know gonna, of. They should have gone to that, but um, they're going to be at Ren, you're on a, you're on a, you're on a, you're on a, Brandon Uranowitz. Yeah, That's he's, a tricky name. He's not looking angry at all. They're right going to be at his 54 so Below show, maybe. Maybe. The songs of William helpful. Finn. Um, <laughs> Alexis Michelle Who was, was here on Monday. just sitting in this chair That's correct. days ago. Monday. And now <laughs> and now it's everywhere. And you knew this. You kind of guessed this was going to happen. I was happen. hoping, but, he, but she did not reveal a thing because those contracts are tight. She, who's also Alex Michaels, who's a makeup artist who did makeup on some of Matt Murphy's Got a Dance shoots. That's correct. Um, is one of the queens, that's what you call them, on yes. Drag Race season nine. That's and it's right. so exciting because I'm obsessed with Drag Race. So I'm going to be all over this. And she's the nicest person because you guys watch. She's so earnest and nice and a huge theater fan, which is awesome. And so Ryan and McPhee, a lot of, um, Alexis does a lot of uh, Broadway themed drag. So uh, Ryan McPhee, who's a huge super fan, of Drag Race. Of Drag Race and Alexa specifically. And Broadway. Uh, did a, a feature sort of doing a roundup of some of the best. The best one, I think, is Into the Woods. The, that is into the best just, one. The, anyway, so check out that feature. So you think you can drag with the full Because hopefully we'll get some show yes. tunes on Drag Race this year. That'd be fun. That's what we want. Uh, so there's a Cruel Intentions musical. Which we knew, but now it has a cast. It's a pop-up production. I don't know what that is, but I love it. It means that they're doing it like in a club. La, la For Poisson three nights. Rouge. How do you say it? You took French. I did. Um, but why is the le in... I don't know. Okay. Um, Jennifer Damiano is taking on this Sarah Michelle Galar role. And Constantine Rizzuli is doing the Ryan Felipe role. Um, Great. This is going to be fun. It's all good. Natalie Hill's in it. Alex Boniello, Jared Dixon, and not Jerry Dixon, Jared Dixon. Thank you. And Brian Muller. And this is uh, February 11th, 13th, and 14th. And I think it's really a hot ticket. Yes. So if you want to see it, you should jump on that. Les Liaisons Dangereuses. Right. Yes, exactly. It's a contemporary version of that. But this one has songs. It just means they're screwing with everybody, basically. Um, and screwing <laughs> That's everybody. That's the alternate title, yeah. Uh, uh, welcome to the world, Leonard Blaze Yazbek. Yay! Tony Yazbek uh, had a baby. Not not him personally. His, His wife, wife, Katie Hoff. Katie Hoff had a baby yes, uh, February 1st, yesterday. Um, eight pounds, five ounces. That's a healthy boy. That's very sweet. And there's a really adorable photo up on our site. So check that out. you got to check this baby out. Check this baby uh, out. Aaron Tveit, we found a poster of some new Aaron Tveit movie called okay, Created Equal. Created Equal. It's very dramatic, the poster. It's about it's like, a woman who wants to be a priest. Oh. Side note, Aaron's brother is a priest. Okay. Okay. Uh, the New York City Gay Men's Chorus and the Youth Pride Chorus are honoring Jerry Mitchell, as you do. Uh, they're full giving out. him the full out. full out hashtag full out. They're giving him the Big Apple Performing Arts 
Oh, no, no. They're giving him the Arts in Action Award at the Big Apple Performing Arts Harmony Gala. Wow, that's a lot to get And this at. is uh, February 17th at Diamond Horseshoe. And we all know that Jerry Mitchell has done all kinds of fabulous things. So yeah. he deserves an honor. Why not? Of course he does. Um, awesome. Are you Gaga for rent? So uh, Michael Corte. Now, this is funny. Michael Corte is, uh, he did the mm. Ham for mm. Bay video. Yes. Hamilton Beyonce songs. And now it's a Lady Gaga, rent, a lot of rent songs and he, he makes these beautiful videos here's the funny story when yeah, i was in la yes a month or two ago he came up to me at a restaurant and said hi he's like i'm that guy who made that video so uh hi michael you're, you're, that was a great story paul he does well because it was just sort of out of the blue <laughs> out of the blue you. and he's um watching right now. Hi, anyway these videos are beautiful and so gaga for rent check it out and the musical arranger is someone named jared jenkins i don't know him but you're very talented listen okay no, that's the name of the song in oh. Dreamgirls. <laughs> and you know Dreamgirls is in London. I do. So Amber Riley and Lisi La, La Fontaine, fabulous name, by the way, uh, they play Effie and Dina, and they did it on the BBC, the song Listen. It's one of the songs that was written for the movie. Yes. It was a, and you can it was actually a, hear them sing it. It was a Bay song. She said, yeah. Um, the Lortello Awards will be May 7th at the NYU Skirball Center. And they're adding a outstanding projection design. And they're honoring William Ivy Long and Lynn Nottage. Well, I'm glad you read the article because I didn't know that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for adding those details. They deserve it. No problem. Uh, but the projection thing is interesting. It is. For I all Broadway shows with projection. There's so much projection even on Broadway. I mean, like this year, Darren Hanson would sweep the projection category. Well, it was maybe. off Broadway, so perhaps. Oh, look Ooh. at that. Maybe they added it for them. Uh, also on the site, uh, there's a character study with Blake Hammond, who is playing Nostradamus in Something Rotten on the Road. Sure, yeah. And uh, Let's Have Lunch. Let's have lunch, gotta run. Uh, that's from, Michael uh, Xavier's blog. From Sunset Boulevard. Yeah, it's fun. Episode three. So go backstage with Glenn. They actually go to the theater. They're now at the palace on the blog. So you get to see him, see his dressing room for the first well, time. Well, I hope they're there because it starts previews soon. But when he was shooting, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's a good <laughs> blog. Go watch it. All right, why don't you introduce one of your favorite people in New York City? You guys, one of my favorite people in New York City, Brandon Uranowitz. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, that's so fun. Hello, Hi. Brandon. Oh, sweetie. My love. Happy Hi, you guys. New Year. Thank you. I Happy just saw New you in Year. December. I, I have don't... to see you. Are you going to press that? Yeah, wait. You want to do wait. something? Wait. What's happening? I don't know. Just also, more, like, what is this device? This is a camera. Oh. I know you you were old school and you were here a long time ago. Yeah, like when it was on like a... Uh, and now we're, we've upscaled. We've, we've fixed like, it up. You guys, Broadway.com is no joke. We're no joke. No. You guys, Brandon just finished his run three weeks ago ish <laughs> in Falsettos where he was Mendel. Yeah. But he's kept the beard for us. I have. But I'm debuting the new haircut. What do you think? I think it looks so different than the other one. So different. There's no payas, for example. There's no baby payas. There's no baby payas, but... It's been cleaned up. You're going to go to 54 Below. I am. And sing the songs of William Finn. So if you were missing falsettos and you don't have the CD on repeat, then I don't know why you wouldn't. Yeah, like what's wrong with you? But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm like not really coping well with falsettos being over. Um, and it's not really being helped by like the state of the world right now. So like everything's just kind of dire and sad. Um, and the only way that I could make myself feel better and hopefully make other people feel better is through is by singing the really Bill Finn. Bill Finn. Who's just a great songwriter. Who's just a genius. So you have some special guests. Yeah. One of them is Miss Stephanie J. Block. And I think you're doing that for me so we can get Trindle. Hashtag, hashtag Trindle. trindle. Thank you. Yeah. But like seriously, like Trindle. Hashtag Trindle. Get it going. So Stephanie's going to come one night. Stephanie's so first of all, this come. is next week. This is Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Correct? Wednesday, Friday, Saturday at 7 p.m. At 54 Below. Very reasonable time. You not one of those like 11.30 kind of like nonsense no, things. No, this is not know? a nonsense thing. This is a very um, sensible thing. And I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah, Stephanie will be there because... Um, are you going to sing some falsettos for us? Oh, yes. Thank you. There will be lots the of falsettos. The question's from Alec. Alec wanted to know. Oh, yes. Yes, there of will course. be lots of falsettos. Um, but not necessarily falsettos that, like, I sang. 
in falsettos. You might be dipping into other areas. Yeah, like other I might parts. be dipping myself. Instead of singing backstage, perhaps in your dressing room. Correct. To someone else's part. Yeah, correct. I'm actually going to sing it into a microphone for people. Who pay money. Cool. Oh, that's still so weird to me. <laughs> like, I have a really hard time asking people to spend money to, like, come It's see not that me. big of a deal. You get a drink, it'll be fine. All um, right, yeah, I guess that's Oh, fair. look. Trindle. Trindle. Thanks, Alec. Thanks, Alec. Um, so you're, but not just falsettos. You got some elegies going. I got some elegies. I got some in trousers. I got nice. some new brain. New brain. I got some. Um, he has uh, collaborated with this incredible composer, Deb Abramson, mm. and she just writes really gorgeous music that is kind of impossible to sing. So like, there might be one song where I have to actually look at the music a little bit. Thanks is that okay? That. No, no, it's not okay. <laughs> what you Get in rehearsal. What's this? Didn't we just say people are paying money for this? I <laughs> know, but it's like, here's the thing. I'm not like a total musician, you know what I mean? And it's hard for me. But yeah, so there will so be some of that. So you're going to get the whole William Finn catalog. Yeah, there will be a spectrum of William Finn. Who are your other guests? My gorgeous, amazingly talented, one of my best friends, Alicia Umfress. You know you her might from the town. She's remember a former her blogger. From on the town. She, uh, she can cook too. She can cook too, and she might be part. I don't want to give it away. You have to come to the show to see. Okay. Um, she's she will be there, uh, and my boyfriend Zach. Your boyfriend Zach. That is yeah. adorable. Yeah, we so rarely get the chance. Songs? Yeah, there might be one. It's like kind of a sad love song. Um, he sounds so into it. <laughs> so thank you for that. <laughs> Yeah, I guess yeah. so. Okay. Well, no, but I mean, but the thing is, we so rarely get to actually, like, perform together. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. I can. That's the fun thing about this. Is Bill Finn going to be there? I mean, he better be. I mean... In spirit, if not... In if spirit, if not, like, really there. I mean, he and did you're, you're, He did make some requests for me to do certain songs and not do certain, and not do others, so... What does I'm, he want you not to do? Um, That's the question you were hoping I was going to ask, right? Well, I will say, there's a song called Republicans. Which you did for the preview. I did for the preview. Um, what is that from? Is that a cut song? I believe it's a cut song from A New Brain. Okay. Um, but they did it, he did a thing at um, Joe's Pub in like the early 2000s called Infinite Joy. Yes. And they did it there. Um, I die for it. It could not funny. be more timely. Yes. Uh, but Bill said, uh, don't do Republicans. I can't laugh anymore. I just want it to end. You know? So, That's which I told genius Bill Finn impersonation. Was you it good? Were, you've been working on it. Well, you know. have had some time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've had some time since Falsettos ended to just think about Bill Finn all day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> Who hasn't? Who hasn't? What if I, to bring it back to our last live at five, what if I unzipped my body oh my and God. I was Bill Finn? <laughs> That would be really creepy. <laughs> that would be really creepy. We'll bring, this brings us to a question from Josh, who asks, what was your most memorable interaction with William Finn during falsettos? Any illuminating moments? So zip back up. Okay, so I'm going to zip back up and be me. <laughs> um, one of my favorite things that ever happened during rehearsal was we were learning March of the Falsettos, the song, which is like, March, March. It's the wackiest March song of in falsettos. falsettos. March of the Falsettos. And it's all in falsetto. And Bill was like back in the, like in a corner, just kind of slumped over in his chair, listening, and mm -hmm. just started out of nowhere, just started singing like his own like desk cant over the top of it. Wow. So it was like march, march, and then he would just be in the back going, Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! That was pretty amazing. <laughs> oh my God. Um, do you think he'll do that during your show at 54 Ball? <laughs> um, like, honestly, I wouldn't put it amazing. past him. So maybe you want to come and see if that happens, because like, it really could. I'm that's, not just al that's just value added to your ticket. That is 100% accurate. Oh my God, that's not what I was expecting. Um, Peyton <laughs> asked, what was your favorite American in Paris memory? We're just going to do memories now. Memories. Memories. I still haven't seen it yet. Cots. Yeah, I knew what you were saying. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I think you saw American Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay, um, what was my favorite American in Paris memory? How about, okay, Being you know in what? Paris is what you're going to say. Oh, yeah. We oh, did you did do Paris. that. You probably always forget. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to tell you my least favorite American in Paris yeah, memory. Yeah, that's more interesting. Go on. Um, 
it, we were like 600 shows into the run. Like we had been running well mm-hmm. over a year. And I guess, um, I, I think I had worked out a little too hard before the show and didn't really eat enough. So I was really tired and really uh-huh. hungry. And I entered the white room and completely went up on my lines in the opening cafe scene, which like... Kind of sets everything up. Literally everything. <laughs> like, it you sets up... That in, there's like a beautiful dance, like, there's and then a you be- need some gorgeous words. ballet, right. which sets up like the tone. And then we you come on, and my character gives you like p- actual plot points right. that I gave 0. 0.00 of. And then... <laughs> Max just looked at me like, you fool. <laughs> and then just said, let's get to my song. And we just went into I Got Rhythm with literally no exposition. And that audience and no was setup. like, what is going on? Yep, 2,000 people. No idea. No clue. No, I, I wish me and Comps had just walked on and taken charge of that moment. That would have been what I would live for. Uh, I would live for any anything. We love Ian. We love Hi, Ian. Are you watching? Hi, Hi Ian. She's probably year. not, but I love her. Hi. <laughs> Someone asked the funniest on stage mishap in, in American Paris. I'm going to say that I one. think that was probably it, yeah. Pam is asking if Brandon will sing anything from Spelling Bee. That's the one William Finn show we didn't really mention. We didn't really mention Spelling Bee. Um, you know what? I'm not. I'm so sorry. Excuse I me? Actually, I love Spelling Bee. Can you Here's have the thing a little spelling actual bee. Spelling Bee in between your songs? Like bring people up oh and ask God. them questions? Yeah. Like an actual bee? Do you want me to have Where's a Where's like, your bee sweater? Sp- Speaking, like, you see how it's all coming together? Oh my god, it might be four. Uh, well, I just I couldn't wear the same thing again. No, obviously. that would be weird. Um, so here's the thing. I tried to do some spelling bee. Who asked that? Pam? I'm so sorry. I really tried to do make spelling bee work. But the thing about spelling bee is it's really, really specific. It's yeah. actually kind of hard to do out of context. They're very much character songs. Yeah, and uh, Bill writes a lot of those. That's true. So, um... The biggest challenge for me putting the show together was... I was thinking, I was going to say, William Finn asked me not to sing anything. <laughs> oh, I should have <laughs> said that instead of being like, I'm the jerk wanna. who decided not to. You know wanna. what I mean? Um, no, it, the the hard thing about putting a, together a solo show is like, it's just it's just me and and just having people come and join me for a night of nice music and songs and stories, but it's not, you know, I can't... It's and very have, bizarre for me to just kind of jump into like Leaf Coney Bear for, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's a little weird. Yeah. So, Leaf Coney Bear from Spelling Bee, that's a character. Yeah. Um, and your musical director is Vadim, who was your falsetto's musical director, He's right? just like, yeah. And Bill Finn's right-hand man. Yeah, so. he just, he just, yeah. He just he really understands how to Bill. Um, and, you know, Vadim said something Vadim very... Vadim Fleichner, who is also known as Leslie Kritzer's husband. Oh, <gasps> that's right. Leslie Kritzer's husband. Leslie Kritzer's husband. Hubby. Hubs is my music director and was the mu- the brilliant music director on Falsettos. He's just incredible and yeah. just understands Bill's aesthetic, his style. Um, and he said something very interesting to me the other day because another reason why this show is like very challenging for me, but I'm, I'm really trying to like dive in mm-hmm. and face my fears is that, um, you know, it's not like going to see Stephanie J. Block's one woman show or Audrey McDonald's one woman show where you can just like bask in the glory of their voice it i don't see myself as that you know what i mean i think you would be amazing and you could wear a gown and <laughs> well just, don't tempt me sorry. i would wear a bustle dress not a gown but, sorry, sorry, sorry. um and so vadim just sort of understands the really understands the storytelling aspect of mm-hmm. these songs as opposed to just like belting my face off and just giving you pure gorgeous vocals which like it's just not really me. I'm like not You're that not gonna kind. Not gonna be Alphaba anytime soon. No, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna be Alphaba. I'm not gonna be like the Phantom. I'm not gonna be. I don't know. That's okay, another, like, fine. Do you know what I mean? So I get it. And he was so like, it's more of having a narrative structure. Well, yeah, and Vadim just understands song acting order. beats and yeah. and and how that works musically, as opposed to just me trying to like sing my to bring it back to Paul. <gasps> Sing, Sing my face, face off. off. That's amazing. Yeah. Did you enjoy the Barnes and Noble signing? Asks Haley. Ugh, of course I did. But I have, I have to say the thing about the Barnes and Noble signing was the CD signing last week. Yes, at Barnes and Noble, we we and you finally, performed. We performed. We did a bunch of songs from the show. Got the gang back together. Yeah, 
that was beautiful and wonderful. However, I had just started to like get over the mourning process. Oh, it's you know like a breakup I mean? and then you see and him again. And then you see him again. And like all of the memories of the show kept, kept like were flooding back. And it was beautiful Weeping. and wonderful and I would, just got depressed again. So. And then you're going to bring Stephanie to your show and you're going yeah, to go Yeah, and I'm going to get depressed again. all over Very again. Good. Oh, Haley also asked, what do you miss most about falsettos? Because I miss everything. Me too. Um, there are two things I miss most. The people and telling that story every day. I'm very excited that PBS filmed it yes. and that, that it will live forever in that way. Are you going to have a viewing party? Probably. Do you want to come? Yes. Yeah. And will there be Kleenexes on every little yeah, surface? Like, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> um, I just miss doing it every day. Yeah. Like I'm so glad that we'll be able to that people will be able to see it and like it'll get a broader audience. This but like turning into a bit of a therapy session. I want to so, do but it. Our every time day. is almost up. Oh, but no, do you need some tissue? Are you okay? It's upsetting. It's upsetting. <gasps> What's your favorite Bill Finn song? Whoa. I mean, that's really deep. <sighs> I There's think so it might be, there are so many good ones. It might be either What Would I Do? Mm -hmm. Or maybe And They're Off? Or I'd Rather Be Sailing? I don't know. They're so good. They are. And they're so different from each other, too. Yeah. Everyone loves you. I love you guys. You are amazing. Thanks. Brandon is my favorite. I'm just quoting. <laughs> It's very annoying. Oh, I, I thought really it, you were saying that. <laughs> no, you know, I mean, you I are. I love you. Ever. I do love you. No, I love you too, but like, I, I may you. not be your favorite. Oh, I forgot to bring it. We, we have to tell you something. You forgot to bring me something, and I forgot to bring you something. Okay. Okay, what I forgot to bring you is at Broadway Con, mm -hmm. I saw Anthony Rosenthal, oh, and Anthony. he walked up to me out of the balloon. He goes, hey, <laughs> what are you doing on September 21st, 1985? And I said, what? And he goes, want to come to my bar mitzvah? And he handed me a printed bar mitzvah invitation. Yes. Yes. Sweet. With the Star of David at the JCC. <laughs> it's a full Are you kidding me? No, I have to show it to you. And you forgot to bring me something. And also bar mitzvah related. <laughs> so, on the, our, at our last one-on-one, -on -one, one -on -one, go to broadway.com, watch it. I'm wearing, wearing a really cute sweater. Um, I'm true. true. I'm probably it's wearing true. the same thing. <laughs> no, you weren't. You always look beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I told you about my bar mitzvah theme and what my party was like, and we had swimming, and the favors were towels that said, I had a splash at Brandon's bar mitzvah, and it looked like the font was jumping into the water, and there were, like, splashes. And I want one. And I was literally at my parents' house this past weekend and saw a stack of because towels. Because of course they still have them. Like, literally, like, 40 of them. And, um... I just forgot to grab So it. I didn't bring you that. So we have to meet again. Yeah, we are. We're going to do this again. We're going to do it again. Um, are you going to do 54 Below again? I think he will. I think he will. Well, you like, can... let's see how it goes. Okay. So let's tell the people where to go. Okay. February 8th. February 10th. 10th February, February 11th. 54 Below. 7 o'clock. It's a sensible hour. See this guy? Yeah. And some special And it's going to be, like, really special guests, really fun, just you and me chatting it up. Loving oh, Bill, okay. loving on Bill, and you know it's gonna be like a quick like sixty minutes. Like it's not it's even. It's gonna be fast and like, furious. Yeah, it'll, you'll laugh, it, you'll cry. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Bye guys, see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Love you. Bye.